busy week this week. Today is, today as I'm shooting this is EP release day. It's been fun to see you listening and responding and sharing it. So that's cool. If you haven't listened to it, please go check it out. And on your whatever your favorite listening system is, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon. And if you like it, share it, please. I would love, I, I get like the content that I make with Home Studio Corner is it something that will appeal to most of your friends on Facebook unless they're into music and audio? But music is a little more mass appeal. So if you think your friends and family would like my music, this is me asking you to share it and see what happens. And I'm also going to preemptively say thank you. You're running from your shadow, but it goes wherever you go. You're running out of time. It's the first of the month, which for me as a business owner means a lot of boring stuff, a lot of the month is over, let's figure things out. And I've been running around all day and haven't brought my camera with me. <laughs> Sorry, forgot about you. I'm super excited, I'm going to a show tonight. Should be awesome. I'm hoping I can bring you with me and they won't tell me to put the camera down. That'll be fun. I wanna share an email with you that I got this morning. So today, I mentioned this already, is EP release day, technically, like the day I'm shooting this is the day the EP came out. And I've got a million things I need to do. My inbox is out of control. In the middle of all that chaos, I got this email from Bradley, uh, Bradley Gray. And I just, I wanna read it to you quickly. It's, this is gonna sound like me tooting my own horn, but I've had several people share something similar with me and I thought it might be helpful for you, or at least thought provoke, thought. I just tried to say th and it made a th sound. Thought, 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 th thought provoking, thought provoking. You see, Bradley is not unlike probably most people who watch my videos. He has a studio and he has a day job. And the two are obviously slightly in conflict, because both require a good chunk of his time. Let me just read it to you. I, I thought this was kind of cool. He says, I've been, what was that? A little chipmunk just ran right by the studio door. Okay, here's the email. He says, I've been enjoying the vlog so much, meaning Gildercam. Here's the basic and life-changing thing that I've taken from this body of work. My studio is very busy with many deadlines looming out there. Because I'm a full-time worship leader at my church, I find myself putting off these projects because I only have 30 or 45 minutes before the next appointment and talk myself into believing that I needed a four-hour block of time to make it worthwhile and give my best. But watching you with a busy life and expectations and watching you sit and work on something and set a personal deadline of 30 minutes has encouraged me to look at things differently. For the last 30 days, I have taken those opportunities and because of the progress made in these gaps of time, I've not had an all-nighter in a month. No all-nighters. In addition, I don't feel overwhelmed because I'm just tackling one process of the mix, not the whole elephant. My focus and creativity are higher because I'm not depressed over how much work I'm looking at or how many interruptions come when I'm working. Thank you for the look into your life. It has been a great encouragement. Bradley Gray from Chattanooga. Bradley, thank you. That encourages me that something in these Gildercam videos has been helpful and actually useful in the real world. That's a big reason why I do things like these EP challenges, why I give myself a month to record, mix, master, and release an EP. Big part of it is I'm a musician and that's what I need to do, it's what I want to do, it's what makes me come alive. But the second thing is obviously I'm a, I'm a, public figure, YouTuber, blogger, vlogger, I have an audience. Baffling as it might be to me, I have an audience of people like Bradley who are watching what I'm doing. So in addition to making music because I need to, I make it because I want to show others that it can be done and that the stars don't have to align perfectly. You can do this in the real world, in the messy, disorganized, nothing goes according to plan, real world. <laughs> but I don't want you to be just like me. You don't have to release an EP in a month. I have a lot of 
things going for me that allow me to do that. Namely, that I can work on it during normal work hours, right? The only point I want to make is something I was... Flies. It's something I was thinking about just earlier today. I don't feel like an expert at many things, but there's one thing that I've gotten really good at, and at the same time I'm horrible at it, but I've made a ton of progress over the years. What is it? I don't even know what to call it. What keeps popping in my head is this idea of I've gotten good at living in the real world. There has not been a single episode of Gildercam that has gone according to plan. Zoom out a little bit, there's not been a single day in the last month that has gone exactly according to plan. Two possible takeaways from that. One, you can say plans are garbage, what's the point of a plan because things always blow up. Or two, two. Or two, you can realize that making a plan is good and then adjusting to life as it happens, that's where the real progress and work happens. Some of the things Bradley was talking about, me setting a goal to do something in 30 minutes, it wasn't that I looked at my calendar that day and said, oh, I'm going to plot in 30 minutes here to record that vocal. Or that one, one day where I had, I literally had five minutes and I recorded a vocal in those five. I don't plan that part out. It was, I intended to work on this song earlier, things got a little screwy, and now I've got a 30 minute gap before the next thing I have to go to. I can either watch funny YouTube videos, or I can knock out a piece of this project. It's the same thing I've been harping on forever. You don't have to have huge uninterrupted blocks of time to make something good and something worthwhile. Yes, big blocks of time are super nice to have. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of having a big chunk of time. I don't think you should always work in little 10 minute chunks. Sometimes it's nice to have a big chunk of time, but way too many people think like Bradley used to think that they have to have a big, huge chunk of time in order to accomplish anything. You don't have to look any further than this Gildercam series. If you go back through and watch episodes over the last month as I've been producing this EP, I've really only had two big chunks of time, which were the very first two days where I recorded scratch tracks. The rest had to be fit in here and there. Yeah, I planned to have some bigger chunks of time, but life happened and I would have to pick up things when I could and adjust and adjust and adjust and adjust. Is there room for improvement for me to be better at sticking to the schedule? Absolutely. And I'm a big, big fan of planning, but life is unpredictable. You never know what the day will hold. It's part of what makes it exciting. The key to all of it, all of it, is to have a goal. I would not have snuck in 30 minutes to work on that song or 10 minutes to sing that vocal had I not had a goal of finishing this EP in the given time frame, which was a month, less than a month. Having a clearly defined finish line changed the way I approached what I was doing today. Knowing that tomorrow I want to be in this place changes what I do today. It creates a sense of urgency that makes it seem more appealing to get a little more work done on the project instead of just blowing off a half hour. Don't you know it's okay to be broken? Tonight, a buddy of mine from college started a band, a duo. It's like R&B duo called, wait, hang on, Rookie Season. And from what I've gathered, they've kind of blown up on Spotify. They hit a couple of big playlists and have started to gain some traction, which is super cool. They're releasing, or they've released a new album called Collide, and they're doing a CD release show at a shoe store, which sounds weird, but I think they're trying, to, and hopefully they'll, I'll get to talk to them and clear this up. But I think they're trying this new way of approaching music, of creating music, but also creating apparel. Not like like merch, like, hey, buy a t-shirt, bro, but like shoes and, and partnering up with people that make actual like nice clothing and that being a part of the brand. I'm not entirely sure, but it sounds interesting and it should be really fun. Plus, my buddy Ben Gortmaker, you've seen him. I've interviewed him on the podcast a few years ago. He's playing guitar tonight with the band as well, so should just be all around good fun. Don't you know?
I can tell you right now, they're gonna be very cool people here. I'm not gonna fit in. <laughs> Something. It was really fun. It's a great show. I'm about a decade and a half too old for that venue. But it was some really good music. Got to see some old friends, make some new ones. Good evening. Mm -hmm.